He's the future for Canadian music. Jazz Cartier is next level Canada, right here. Every show, he turns the f**k up, bro. Are you ready? I was born in Toronto. Growing up, there was a very big family vibe. My mom dug it out by herself, you know? My stepdad, he has a, his jobs with the US government. He has different posts like every year and a half to, to like two years. It sucked having to like, you know, go to these foreign countries and like adapt to a new culture and not having like a phone to call home. Rap is always around me. My mom and my dad had me pretty young. So, like, so, so they were both like 19, 20 when they had me. So it's like, as I was growing up, they were also growing up as well. So I was introduced to like Snoop Dogg, you know, early on, Tupac, Biggie, you know, Tribe, Black Sheep, um, Naughty by Nature, like all that stuff as a kid. And that's always in the household. All the while I was changing schools, I would always change identities. You know, I would always tell kids like, I do this, I do that, you know, and just like with them, just because just like, I'm not going to see you again. You know what I'm saying? I might as well just make this up. But, but then one year, I said I was a rapper, and that just stuck. I had a like, big speech impediment growing up, and like the only time that I noticed that I didn't stutter is when I was like rapping along to lyrics that I knew. So that's how I started to get into it. I knew in like a couple years, Toronto would finally get the shine that we deserved pretty much. And lo and behold, 2017, we're like the center of like music. If you keep dancing on me, girl, I'll be tempted to touch. Say, boy, I'm tempted to touch. Growing up, the Toronto rap scene wanted to sound like they're from the States, you know? And I think that was, that was the biggest flaw for everybody, you know? It's because no one saw what we had here, but we just wanted to emulate what was happening in America. And, um, I, and Americans saw right through that. Get them safe here. That's a big part of my story. You have us, we're like a multicultural group. And Derek rapped, I rapped, and Tosh was a model, Tony was a DJ, Quincy manage the whole operation. Drew is the missing piece of the whole puzzle, and he completed it. That's that's what made Get Him Safe, Get Him Safe. When that breakup happened, you know, it was like, I personally felt like everyone turned on me. Like, even though there's like equal blame, if like that didn't happen, I wouldn't find the spark to go crazy. Cause like, in, in like my head, I'm like, we already put this much work in. If these guys blow up before I do, my story's done. Every rapper wants to be the first one to blow up. They want to be the first one to be like, we, we put Toronto on, you know? That's like the Toronto mentality. There's just a lot of negativity, you know? And not that much unity, you know? So I was just like, I went into a hole. No one saw me for like four or five months. Came back out, changed the city. <laughs> I had met Lance when I was like 16, 15. So like Lance and I were always cool, you know? Lance was like our engineer. When that breakup happened, you know, it, it, like we were already close, like that was already like my dog, but like that shit like brought us closer because, you know, he was like the one that always stood by my side, you know? We like met in this like small studio in Scarborough, which is like just kind of outside of Toronto. But his, his lyrical content was the first thing that I heard and I was just like, this kid's super clever with it. I don't have to tell him much. It's like, he'll like feel my energy, you know? Like I love the sound, I love his direction. He was like 16 at the time, and I'm like, this kid's super fresh. When it comes to writing my lyrics, yeah, like most of it's personal, you know? I, I always want to make sure like I get the fucking bars off, you know? I would say his sound is, is dark, but definitely he, he has some power behind his vocals and stuff. So it's like trappy, but it also kind of has that Toronto feel. Toronto's a very cold city, you know, and like the music's very dark, and like uh, I guess that's where a lot of it comes from, just like being here. There's a lot of Drake copycats coming from the city, a lot of guys that want to copy what 40 has started and what War Wonder is doing, and it's like, he, to me, he's just setting his own lane, which is dope. Abel, one of the nicest guys in the world, hands down. Drake, same with him. 
they respect the fact that I'm not out here capping for like, you know, a cosign. You're not gonna be bigger than, than the guy that cosigns you. And like the back of everyone's head, no matter how big you get, you always have that shadow on you. I refuse. No, no, no. They want me dead or alive. They want me dead or alive. I'm just trying to survive. You niggas fall behind. You never cross in my mind. Put that shit on my life. They want me dead or alive. They want me dead or alive. I'm just trying to survive. I'm definitely taking a new direction musically. Um, there's going to be a lot more, I guess, bounce and soul. Music that we have been putting out and sort of just sort of seeing the natural progression of the types of records that he's been creating and then uh, and the growth in the audience. He has done all of this pretty much on his own. You know, there's a lot of artists, you know, coming from the city that want to be at the top, but they don't want to put the work in. I find that he's really delivering in that aspect. I'm, I'm not a super big, like, you know, quote unquote, like on trend rapper that, that that's like, you know, popping right now, you know, like, my hair is not dyed, you know, like, as I'm, I'm not doing it, but like the antics, you know, I'm just like, I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm different because of my story alone, you know? Um, there's, there's a lot of sides of me, you know, and like, different energies that I can channel at like certain times. I'm still blossoming as it is, you know? Still peeling back layers of myself that I didn't even know that I had.